Well, Carmen, the remaining four uh, construction workers that were injured remain hospitalized tonight. Three of them listed in fair condition and one in serious condition at Yale New Haven Hospital. Tonight, we're hearing audio of the response by first responders. Just after 1230 Friday afternoon, a 911 call was made by someone walking by reporting a loud noise and a partial collapse. Construction workers were pouring concrete when it pulled, officials believe, causing the collapse. Audio from the responders radio describes the scene when they arrived. It's a full collapse. They got multiple people buried down there. We're going to have to come around from the Lafayette side to gain access. Well, we got some stability issues here. We got a lot of rebar down. First responders having to request tools to get to those who were trapped. You're going to need to bring some metal cutting saws down there, shovels. You got a lot of rebar, wet concrete around uh, multiple people. I don't have a firm count yet. First responders began to pull the injured and those partially buried in the wet concrete to safety. So far, I have the one that's buried and possibly four more on that lower level. Got one more person with a leg injury. The CEO of RMS Companies, who is developing the construction site, released a statement to Fox 61 praising first responders and saying in part, quote, we will continue to work with our safety team and all of the appropriate government agencies to fully investigate the incident. After over an hour of hard work, the news finally came. The uh, rescue is completed. They're on the ground and they'll be loading up in the ambulance momentarily. And OSHA is leading that investigation as it continues on. A stop work order has been issued uh, here at the construction site as the investigation continues, which could take several more days. We're live in New Haven. Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.